The moon, please, as fast as possible. I am too busy being a star to answer the phone right now. You know what to do. It's okay. Please call me back ASAP. I'll lose signal soon, so please hurry. You've got to get off the planet. I'm on my way to the moon settlement and I'll wait for you there for 10 days. After that, I'm going to Mars. I know I messed up, but you've got to believe me and get off the planet. I can't tell you why in a voicemail, you won't believe me. Just please trust me, I love you. You heard that, huh? Well, seeing as you're my ride off this godforsaken planet, I guess I can tell you. You know Indigo Labs? Well, I work there, you see. I'm the site supervisor, known by the scientists, however, as the janitor. They ain't got no respect. Ain't like other scientists. Always so secretive about what goes on there. My boyfriend always did suspect something wasn't right about Indigo. Shady as all hell was the exact phrase he used, I believe. We got into a fight about it, actually. He didn't want me working there no more and I was too damn stubborn to listen. Idiot. Anyway, last night I finished my rounds. I just had one report that needed to be checked out before I could clock off. There was a leaky ceiling in Lab 04 that needed jimmy rigging. So I grabbed my toolkit and headed off towards the lab. As I'm walking, I notice there ain't nobody around. I usually have to kick a few scientists out to lock up, but there were none left. Computers were still on, full cups of coffee sat cold on worktops. It was eerie. When I got to the lab, I didn't just find a leaky ceiling. Lab 04 looked like a hurricane had hit it. There was broken glass all over the benches and floor, stools flipped on their sides and computer screens flashing red. All sorts of warning notices demanded my attention. Like them screens were calling to me, begging me to read them. So that's exactly what I did. Warning! Warning! Project Zeta, code red. Warning! Warning! Ozone layer at critical. Human life will be affected in T minus 30 days. I knew I'd seen something I wasn't meant to, so I got the hell out of there. I think we're all going to die very soon. So I'm going to head for Mars before it's too late. The way them scientists just abandoned the lab. 
compared with there being nothing on the news about this. I just get a bad feeling they might not be thinking about saving humanity. Just themselves. What were they doing in the place? Did they cause this? I just hope my Takei joins me there. I had no time to warn anyone else. Maybe I can send some sort of satellite message back. Oh, we're here already. Thank you. Seriously, you saved my life today. Listen, man. Don't head back down there. Stay here. Save yourself. Do you go off track? Great. Thanks. To the moon, please, Darth. I'm going to see my ex. On the moon for some friggin' reason. I haven't heard from him in weeks, and then suddenly I get some voicemail from him out of the blue. He's going to the moon, he says. He won't tell me why, of course. Typical Terry. He walked out of me last month. After seven years together. Can you believe it? We got into a huge fight over his job. Because I was worried about it. It just turned it into a fight about my drag, as usual. I can't help that I'm popular at the club. You'd think he would be happy I make so much money from drag. God knows it's paid for all our holidays together. But apparently, he'd rather we go camping in the woods. Than vacay in a five star hotel on the beach anyway. Yeah, right. Mr. I'm so afraid of spiders, I literally run out of the house when I see one. Just doesn't like other men looking at me. Like he doesn't trust me. Idiot. Can't he see? I only have eyes for him. It's true, too. I don't even window shut. Ugh. I still love him, of course. Soppy tits that I am. But I'm mad. I was a queen before I even knew him. It's who I am. Drag saved my life. Literally. I was a party kid. Got addicted to the life. It would have killed me too. And my sisters at the club not helped me get straight. Heck, Terry met me at the club. He was there, fixing a broken window in the dressing room one night. I had just done my set and walked in, in full drag. To see the most handsome man I had ever seen. You should have seen him there, in his white beater and overalls, all sweaty. I knew that I was taking him home the moment I saw him. What I didn't know is I would fall for him, and boy did I fall. We were inseparable until last month. 
why did I have to open that stupid mouth about that stupid lab? I just had a feeling, you know, that something was off about that place. The scientists I met outside the place one morning were hella shady. I just got this really bad feeling in my gut. But there is up to no good there. And my gut is never wrong. Like this one time, Terry wanted pizza, and I said no, let's get Chinese. Then we see on the news that Jim has got shut down for health code violations. Because an old lady died from food poisoning. Yeah, see? So I just know that Terry isn't safe working. But would he listen? Like hell he would. And now this? I know you must think I'm crazy chasing after it like this. There was just something about his voice in the message that didn't sit right with me. I've got to know that he is alright. Are we here? Wow. So this is the moon, huh? Could you help me get my oxygen out of the trunk? That's great. Wish me luck. Moon, please, young lady. I just got invited to my son's last minute wedding. Typical young people, not playing in ahead. I didn't even have time to get my uniform steamed. It's all stiff and smells like gunpowder from the last funeral I went to. How much longer will it take to get there? <sighs> mm. At least he's found his match. It's all you want for your children, right? To find love, to be happy. I just wish I'd gotten a heads up in advance. Mm. Are we there yet? Oh, we are. Impressive! You must do this route a lot to make sure a good time. Thank you. <laughs> 